this is Guitar Moves. My name is Matt Sweeney. I got to go to LA and hang out with my good friend Cass McCombs in our fancy friend's house in the Hollywood Hills. Cass McCombs is one of the finest guitar players I know, one of the finest songwriters that I know, and always a good guy to hang out with, although he doesn't talk much, which is kind of nice sometimes. Cass McCombs, I wanted to talk about starting to play guitar. I think that a lot of times people, when they start playing guitar, are concerned with what's going on on their left hand. I want to suggest that maybe thinking about the right hand is a good way to, to do things. When did you start thinking about your right hand when you were playing guitar? Well, first learned all the first position kind of folky chords, and I played only with my thumb. I did that for like three days. For three days? Or more. Just stay on the chord? Yeah. Oh, here's a good one. Is that we're playing a C chord? Yeah, but, it's a C. But a guitar move that you're doing because usually, when you start with a C chord, people kind of tell you to do this. But if you add this guy in the bottom, you get kind of a lower, deeper thing. Just bigger. Yeah. Usually, when you play a D chord, you're playing up here. But a really cool move is to hang your thumb over here. So you go. Yeah, and um, especially as a transitional chord, like, uh, you know, if you were like playing in C like we were, and then maybe you went to F, and then D. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they call this passing chords, right? Is that right? Yeah, or, yeah, or I've heard in passing chords, they're a transitional chords. You've heard that in passing? In passing, I heard that those are called transition. If somebody never played guitar before, I would love to be able to, to tell them something that a guitar teacher doesn't usually tell them. Mm. So even stuff like we just did, I think, is stuff that nobody told me. Well, these thumbs are just so great. I mean, you can't devalue the thumb. Yep. I haven't played with a pick in a while, but when I play with a pick, it's not like I'm, I've been missing anything. You know what I mean? Like, like once I started messing around with, with finger picking, it's not like my whatever pick technique went out the window. It's just, I, I think picks are kind of easy to, to grasp. So to speak. What are some other thummy moves that, that, that we use? Like, I think the the next thing I, I might have learned is like an Elizabeth Cotton kind of picking kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. A good thing, at least the way that I learned how to finger pick, was to just learn a pattern super, super, super slow, like kind of the way that you're playing it, but play it evenly. So like. Something like that. I think that you could learn any kind of pattern if you just do it really, really, really slow. I mean, so much of being a, an acoustic guitar player is uh, it's a rhythm instrument you know you got the fiddle and uh, everything else to play melodies over but sometimes you gotta keep that bass and then lead lead into other chords Okay, so me and Cass were talking about how it's good to learn one song, maybe even one that's a little bit difficult, because once you learn that one, you're going to start to hear a lot of other songs inside that song. So Cass, take it, for example, talk about your boy Toby Keith. Well, Toby, Toby Keith did not write this song. It's an old song, but
but I heard, uh, I turned on the radio, and he mentioned it as a foundational tune to himself. And it was to me, too. So. Let's do it. And, and if you don't mind singing it. <laughs> I got a feeling called the blue. Oh, no, since my baby said goodbye. Lord, I don't know what to do. All I do is sit inside. Oh, Lord, that last long day you said goodbye. Lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you, she's got that kind of loving. Lord, I love the hero when she called me sweet and day. And he's such a beautiful dream. I hate to think it's all over. I lost my heart, it seems. I've grown so used to you somehow. I'm nobody, sugar daddy now, and I'm How long did it take you to get your kind of your thumb separate from your pointy finger? Well, I didn't try to use the fingers for a while. I mean, it was all thumb when I first started. Was that all just thumb just then? Yeah. Show an example of a of a of a two finger pattern. Okay, you show me one. Okay, here's the first picking pattern that I learned. My friend Sam Dillon taught me this. He's a criminal defense lawyer now. It should be noted. You just use these two fingers, all right? And that's the it's in G. So you're putting your, your, your this guy there on the third fret, your middle finger, and then you're putting your ring finger on the third fret of the of this string of the third from the from the highest, right? And so you're on. then you're taking then you're taking this finger off, right? And the next move is you're just sliding down one fret. And then check this out. So this was the first finger picking pattern that I learned, and it took me about two days to figure it out. And I remember being really frustrated, but wanting to, but really, really wanting to do it. I, I couldn't really rest until I had figured it out. So then I would just slow it way, 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 way down. the top strings with this finger, I'm either plucking them at, I mean, at the same time as my thumb or I'm plucking them when my thumb uh, in between the hits on the thumb. That's a good way to, to organize it. Yeah. Yeah, use the thumb as the anchor and then a, the other finger to... Dance you know, around it or something around like that. It, yeah, yeah. And, and that was the that was the advice that Sam told me. It was like, just think that your thumb pattern never, ever, ever changes. It's like you're, it's like you're walking or something like that. Ha <laughs> ha! 